What you got there, Maze? Fox amps? You hanging out helping Daddy? All right, gang. Bill Baker here. I am working on my friend AC Slade's Gibson SG. He had a little problem, and I figured it out real quick. And this is a little tip for you guys. And I figured I would take advantage of this moment to teach you something. If you buy a recent Gibson, even an older Gibson, here's a trick you can do to fix a funky connection. So the problem was a really weak output. Now, I gave him a little coaching on a way to check for it, and I don't think he really understood what I was telling him, so I'm going to show you. Inside of an SG, we have this little switch, okay? It's going to focus there. Now, I'm going to move this switch into the center position. See, this little bat moves back and forth, right? And what it does is it pushes... You see how it's pushed that set of contacts apart? And it pushes this set of contacts apart. So in the middle, both pickups are connected. If I move it into the bridge position, this side is connected. And I said to him to take a screwdriver and just touch those two pieces together. Because the connection runs through there. As soon as I did that, it worked. So a little tip you can do, you can run your screwdriver in here and just kind of clean it out. But one thing that I like to do, if you've got a contact that's funky, let's say it's the bridge one, move it into the neck position, right? So you see it's pushed these two apart. What I like to do is take my screwdriver and push on this to sort of angle it in a little more. So now what's going to happen is when you close this switch, it's going to be a little tighter. You see that when I let go of it, it pushes that center piece in there. So it's a nice, tight, and clean connection. So the neck one, you could see when I let go of it, it moves in. But this bridge one just was not doing it, and AC, that's what the problem was. So, and for everyone else looking out there to test it, just stick a screwdriver between these two contacts because the jack is wired right to the output of the switch. The pickups go to the pot, come out of the pot, come into this side of the switch, and leave on that side. You rely on this circuit. So what I'm going to do to make sure that he doesn't have any problems is I think I'm just going to wire this so that this switch, not in this position, but in these two positions, short the whole guitar out. And we're not going to rely on this switch, but I, I might have to take the output out here. Yeah, I'm not sure, because I'm not a fan of these circuit boards. I'm going to call them and figure out what to do, but I hope you guys have learned something, and you can fix your Gibsons. And uh, Bill Baker here for the last uh, tip of 2017. We'll see you next year.